Hi guys, this is Fioretta. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be making a quick and healthy three ingredient banana chocolate chip oatmeal cookie. Are you ready? Let's get started. So we're going to be using three bananas. We're going to go ahead and peel it and put it on the plate. I just got in today, so there's still a little bit green, but this is still gonna work. So we're gonna put the third one on the plate. I'm gonna throw this away quickly. And then we're gonna start smashing it. Make sure that it's pureed. So this is going to yield about 6 to 10 cookies. So we're going to continue smashing it. My balcony window is open so you're going to hear a lot of uh, ambulances pass by. So here we go, we're almost done. The main three ingredients for these cookies are going to be the banana, the chocolate chip, and the oatmeal. So here we have, these are almost done, these are completely pureed. pureed. And uh, at, while these are three ingredient cookies, you have the option to put a little bit of vanilla to give it a little bit more flavor. And depending on how sweet the banana is, you can put a little bit of sugar as well. So here we have the three bananas that are completely pureed. So what I like to do if you're gonna use the, uh, the vanilla, what I like to do, I, I like to pour it um, in directly to the bananas like this. We're gonna put a little bit um, of vanilla, maybe about a, a teaspoon, just to give it a little bit more flavor. So we're gonna put this aside. We're gonna mix it. And now we're gonna put the uh, old-fashioned oats. We're gonna put about two cups. So that's one cup. Second cup. And depending on the texture that you'd like to give it, um, you may add a little bit of um, more of the uh, oats. So we're gonna mix it up. You always wanna keep the, uh, the mixture wet. Not too dry. I'll show you a trick in a little bit. So these are the, the, the mixture. So right now the oats are absorbing the, the pureed bananas. And this is the texture. In the meantime, you're gonna uh, preheat the oven to 375 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. So this is gonna be the texture of the oatmeal and the bananas. And now you're ready to put the uh, chocolate chips. I'm gonna put about a third of a cup. You're welcome to use a little bit more chocolate chips. It's a good taste. Make sure that it's completely covered. So this is gonna be the texture with the uh, chocolate chip. So now that it's completely mixed, you can start portioning the, the size of the cookies. You can make it as small or as large as you want, okay? So that's, that's your choice, that's your option. And uh, so this is the mixture, and uh, 
You want to leave it absorbing, absorbing the banana for maybe about a, a couple of minutes before you serve it, before you put it on the pan. So that way it will absorb completely the banana and it's not going to be too dry. So here you go. This is how it's going to look like. So this is going to be the texture you want it to you want it to remain wet that's the that's the uh that's the secret of the cookies being like extremely moist uh so this is the texture as you can see it's still wet um so you're going to notice a difference um once you put it in the oven and once you click a portion according to the size of the cookie that you want it so i like my cookies small so that way i can uh so it's lesser calories. It's about 100 calories per cookie. So you're gonna put about this size, about a, a golf size ball, and you're gonna put it on the pan. You're gonna put the other portions. This is not gonna expand, so this is gonna be the actual size of the cookie once you put it in the oven because it doesn't have any flour, it doesn't have any butter. We're going to be making about seven cookies. Another one here. Maybe seven and, and a little one. So one here. Eight. So here's another one. So that you can fit in the pan. I'm going to just move it around a little bit. Push it down like this. And if you want, you can add, just for decoration purposes, you can add the, uh, you can add the, uh, a little bit more chocolate chips on top of the cookies just so that it will look uh, much better, much appetizing once you serve it and it's melted. So these are the cookies. I'm gonna go ahead and put the chocolate chip on top just so it looks extra yummy. When you pull it out and it's gonna be all melted. A little more like extra chips like this and now we're ready to put it in the oven. And I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and do the 350 degrees and I'm gonna put it for about 16, 17 minutes, okay? Make sure that you put the timer so it doesn't overcook. So we're ready to put it in the oven. Here are my cookies, and I'm gonna try the little baby one. Mmm, delicious. Hope you like it. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.